architecture, the cobbled streets, the market. It's so pretty. All the buildings are so colorful and it's just so lively with all of the people. And so we're gonna go explore one of the oldest cities here in Croatia. Truffles are so good. Oh. <laughs> yes, yeah, I would love it. You can smell the truffle, it's just so strong. This <laughs> is so good. I'm Sammy and this is Tommy. <laughs> We're currently back in Croatia after exploring some amazing hidden gems in Bosnia and Herzegovina. In our last video, we visited Plitvis Lakes National Park where we saw some incredible waterfalls. So pretty. Come along with us today as we discover Croatia's beautiful northern coastline. What's up you guys? Good morning. So the last time you saw us, we were exploring the little town of Rastake and today we are in Istria. And we're heading to the old town of Pula and I'm super psyched. They have a really badass amphitheater there. So I cannot wait to see that. So Istria is actually the northern part of Croatia and it has a beautiful coastline. We only have today to explore it so we're going to try to fit in as much as we possibly can. And like Tommy said, Pula is the first stop on this little Istrian adventure. We made it to Pula and we're heading to Old Town now. So Pula is actually one of the oldest cities here in Istria and a little fun fact. So Istria actually used to be part of Italy after World War I. And then after World War II, it became part of Yugoslavia. And then after that war, now it's part of Croatia. And so we're gonna go explore one of the oldest cities here in Croatia. Look at you, full of facts. I know, just full of fun facts. <laughs> Somebody's prepared today. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy found the restroom, which I think is the most bizarre restroom I've ever seen, but... Mission accomplished. That was weird, right? All right, so we made it through the Ark of Sergius. This was built in the first century. Marina says this way. All right, looks like we're in the main square now. figure out what this is called? Yeah, so it's the Roman Forum and it was built in 1296. That's crazy, it's so old. All right, so we are in the public square now, which used to be the Roman Forum. And right behind me is the Temple of Augustus, which is built back in 2 BC. It's like a little miniature version of the Pantheon, but it's just so cool here. So we saw the Ark, we saw the Roman Forum, and the Temple. Now we just gotta make it to the church, and then up to the amphitheater. It was 50 kuna a person, which is $15 total for the two of us. And they give you like a bunch of fun facts and a map and a flyer for a performance they're putting on because this arena is still in use. So they do have an audio guide, but the ticket gal didn't offer us that. We probably wouldn't have gotten it anyway, but quick tip if you want that. 
We are standing in the amphitheater right now. It is breathtaking, it is so cool. So out of the 230 found amphitheaters in the world, this is the sixth largest. And number one, of course, is the Roman Colosseum. This used to be used mainly for gladiator fights. Now it's still used for plays and concerts and seats up to 20,000. One of the biggest differences I see between this and the Colosseum, besides of course the size, is that at this arena you're free to go wherever you want. Whenever you go to the Roman Colosseum there's like strict little areas that you can or can't enter and you can only enter some with like a group tour. You're just like free to roam about this wherever you want. So I'm thinking that's probably the main church we missed out on earlier. Alright, what else did you find out? This arena was built in the 1st century AD by Emperor Vespasian and he actually started building the Roman Colosseum two years after this one was complete and that's whenever the construction on the Colosseum started. Alright, so we got here right when it opened at 8 a.m. Nobody was here. First one's in the door. And now. Okay, one more. Ooh. Oh, you can like smell the oldness of it. I know. So it must be. Yeah. area in Istria was known for the production of olive oil and wine and so all of the stuff that we see down here was like helped and made like for the production of olive oil and wine. I thought we were gonna see like a bunch of like dead animals or some facts about like the animals being down for the gladiator fights, but just wine and olive oil. Still pretty cool though. All right, so you can see how packed it is now. Yeah, get here early. That's the key. It is starting to rain, so it's time to hustle back. Let's go. Hustle up, come on. Perfectly. So we did bring a picnic lunch and since it's raining and we're heading to our next stop We're gonna eat it in the car on the way All right, so we made it out of the rain now. We're heading to our next spot Robinge Robin, you know something like that <laughs> All right, so we made it to Robin. We're gonna go check out the old town the first stop is the bell tower to get to Ravine, you have to actually park outside the city walls. It's just like a 10 minute walk, and the parking's been pretty cheap so far today. Yeah, for both places, like two bucks, so not bad. Yeah. You can see why this old town is one of the most popular old towns in the Australian coastline. It is so pretty, all the buildings are so colorful, and it's just so lively with all of the people. And each building has like a different color. You go from like light pink, light orange, to green, to red. It's just so colorful and cool. The bell tower behind us is under construction, but fun fact, it is an identical replica of the one in St. Mark's Square in Venice, which we were at last year in Italy. So maybe we'll insert a picture of what that one looks like, not under construction. This is just a mini version of it. I wonder 
know why it was so crowded, but today is Saturday. So they're selling a bunch of fruits and vegetables. I think it's truffle season too. I hope I can convince Sammy to buy some. Let's go check it out. Fresh, do like it fresh? I have also fresh. Oh my god. Is that yes. the first time from Croatia? Uh, yeah. yeah. Like, it's a small town. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you for letting us try it. Thank you. Thing. Yeah, we appreciate it. Enjoy. That was so good. Mm, you like that maybe oil. wine or the brandy? Oh, always. Yeah, we like it all. <laughs> you like try? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We recommend his son to try out some wine and brandy. Looks like he has a shop right here. Thank you, sir. There is a typical grape from here. When in Croatia, goat cheese and cow cheese, you can smell the truffle. It's just so strong. This is so good. Oh my god. It's so good. But you get what you want. I love the wine. Okay, just the, the wine. red wine. So we'll do the red wine. Okay. Okay. Sure. I'm not. She's the boss, you know? <laughs> so he just gave us some salami to try with truffles in it as well. And like salami already has such like a strong odor, but the truffle is just so strong. Mm. Mm -hmm. Truffles are so good. So what's your favorite on everything so far? The salami. Of course, yours the salami. I'm definitely saying the cheese. So we just tried so many cheeses and salami and wine and made a few purchases that fit right into our bags. Can we get two cappuccinos please? No. Okay, time for a little coffee break. Our time in Ravine has come to an end and I think what I love most about this little town is that it just reminds me so much of Italy. Just all of like, I don't know, the architecture, the cobbled streets, the, the market. The friendly people, yeah. all the little shops and the, all the colors. It's such a cool town. It's very unique. Yes. It might be one of my favorite Croatian towns we've been to yet. Yeah, for sure. We love it. All right, so we made it back. We are heading out of Ravine now, and we're gonna, it's getting really hot, so I think there's only one thing left to do. No trip to Istria is complete without hanging out at the beach. Thank you very much. Cheers. So the beaches here are actually pretty interesting because it's not just like sand and water. You have like different areas of the beaches. I mean, I guess depending on your preference, they have like concrete slabs that just like jet into the water so you'd have to like jump or they have like stairways or they have like pebbles, beaches that you can like gradually go into the water. And then they also have, we found one little triangle of sand beach. But yeah, so great variety of beaches here. This is what we're doing for the rest of the day. He's so cute. All right, we made it to the Arts of Sergius. This was built in 12 AD. What was it? <laughs> so little fun facts about this place. Cancel that. I hated that. Fun facts. The trip to this town alone. Um, bro, I lost it. It's for gladiator fights mostly. Mostly manly? Mostly manly. I skip, why you skip like a nerd? That's how I skip. It wasn't. You wanna check? Check yourself? My boxers are longer than my shorts. Tommy had to go buy new shorts and now the style is above the knee and he's just, it's hard for him to cut the grips with it. I hate it. <sighs> <laughs> All right, so we made it to Ravine. Ravine. I am. Going up in the toilet. 
you know. Oh, <laughs> so no trip to Istria. It's complete. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. You can jump off these little cliffs. Not cliffs. God, I'm terrible at this.